Hello and welcome to Quick Bites, a series of brief videos to help you navigate the Texas Open and closed data portals. My name is Stacy Lewis, and as the Open Data Portal Administrator, I'll be your guide on your data journey. Our first topic is metadata. And quite simply, metadata is data about your data. It provides context to help others understand the data, clarifies meaning so the data can be interpreted, and offers access points so the data can be found. On the Open Data Portal, known as the ODP, data consumers can easily search for information in the search bar here in the upper right, which combs through the metadata fields of title, description, and tags looking for the user's search terms. Data consumers can also filter the data catalog and their search results based on category tile and publishing agency. And these are also metadata fields. Adding and editing metadata is a required part of the upload process for data sets. After publication, at any time, the owner or co-owner of a data set can click on the edit button to then make changes to the metadata. For other assets, accessing metadata is a little different. Data lenses, maps, and charts, like the one you see here, you'll simply append forward slash edit underscore metadata, all in lowercase letters, to the asset URL to then access the metadata editing page. It is important to note that these derived assets do not always inherit the metadata of their parent asset, such as tags here. The original data set had tags identified, but those tags did not pass over to the visualization. For story pages, you'll go to the list of assets in the profile of the owner or the co-owner, locate the story page, and then click on the three dots also known as the kebab or ellipse menu, and you'll choose Edit Metadata. Then you can add metadata or edit it as needed. Finally, let's talk about a few metadata fields that often need a bit of clarification. The first is Category. This field is always left blank, and you won't find anything to select from in the dropdown. Instead, on the Texas Open Data Portal, we use the data set category fields of agency and category tile. Let's now look at public license type. Open data, by definition, is available in the public domain with no restriction on access or reuse. And of course, open data should not include any information that is private, sensitive, or confidential. Public license type can be left blank or you can choose from the list of license types in the drop-down menu. There may be circumstances where a specific data set has additional information you want the data consumer to know. As in this example, we've selected C terms of use. And then as needed, we can add an attachment to this data set to provide that additional information. You always wanna consult your legal team for the best option to use here or if you should leave the public license type blank. Users can ask questions about data sets via a form, and this information is usually sent to the data set owner for further assistance. One thing to note is that the data set owner's email is not displayed to the data consumer. But what happens when questions about a data set should be routed to someone other than the data set owner? such as a shared email inbox or a data steward who is not involved in the upload process. The contact email address metadata field comes in handy in these situations. This field is hidden from the public user, but the form is routed to this email address instead of the data set owner. We've seen that metadata is very important to the findability and usability of your data assets. For more information and guidance, including a metadata dictionary, check out section six of the Texas Data Portals Resource Guide, available on the Open Data Portal. 
As always, please don't hesitate to contact me with questions or topics for future Quick Bite videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.